unforgettable That's what you are. Hank Majeski's dedication to the game and the PGA places him appropriately among the renowned figures in the PGA Middle Atlantic Section Hall of Fame. Wakefield Valley Golf Club in Westminster, Maryland testifies to his commitment as a PGA professional, owner, and course designer. There's not a hole out here of the first 18 holes that hasn't been changed since he took over his ownership. They're better holes now. It's, it's, it's a much better golf course now. There were some very, very s severe greens here. Uh, I saw a kid in, in a high school match. We were playing behind him, went 21 putt on the green. So I said, you know, I got to do something. And then we built nine holes in 87, 88 in that area. And we opened the clubhouse in, in uh, 2001. As an owner, Majeski strives to make the game accessible to a wide range of golfers. That's why I think that the golf course wins the award from, from our readers you know, pretty much every year. It's kept at a price where a sports editor can be a member here. You don't have to be a banker or an executive, something like that. It's a good place to play. It's, you know, it's, it's priced fairly. Majeski's efforts to make the game accessible and affordable go back in part to his upbringing. Majeski started caddying at age 10 and was given the opportunity to compete as a junior despite not belonging to a club. Also an accomplished basketball player at the University of Baltimore, Hammer and Hank played college golf for Middle Atlantic PGA Hall of Famer Bill Clark. Hank Majeski has meant so much to the section, so much to myself. We lost a dear friend this year with Bill Clark and I know that Bill Clark thought the world of Hank. They talked all the time, they did so much together and it's been special for me in my life and where I've gotten to having someone like Hank Majeski to look up to. After working for a couple more Hall of Famers, Max Elbin and Walter Romans, he earned PGA membership in 1967 and took a job as PGA Director of Golf, overseeing both Allview Golf Club and Hobbit's Glen Golf Club in Columbia, Maryland. He ran Hobbit's Glen, in my experience, about as well as it could be run in the sense that it was a wonderful place to play golf. Uh, you could always go there and, and get a game. Known for his support of junior golf, including efforts to save area high school golf from elimination due to budget cuts, Majeski served the PGA Middle Atlantic section as president in 1988 and 89. In his first year as president, he was selected as the PGA Professional of the Year for both the section and the National PGA. He went on to work as a director on the national board in the mid-90s. Hank's dedication not only to, uh, to his club and to his job, uh, but to the PGA, not only uh, in the section level and the national level, I, I could not get over uh, his dedication. When he became president, uh, he worked on being able to divide it into three, the northern, the central, and also the uh, Virginia chapters that we have. And uh, so he, he divided the section up into chapters for, for really for several reasons, tournaments, employment, and making it easier for our members to be able to uh, participate uh, in the middle of section. Of all Hank did, if I were to go back, I'd say in the section, on the section level, Hank was very involved with the uh, handicap structure, uh, with the, getting the handicap run by the middle Atlantic PGA section. Not only was it good for the section to have the handicaps all under one house, but it was uh, lucrative to the middle Atlantic PGA. I ran for office and I traveled a lot and everything, hoping to give back to other PGA golf pros. I knew that in my job, I was giving a lot to golf, but if I could help, you know, golf pros, being on, on the employment committee, or merchandising committees, that kind of stuff, that was what I wanted to do, was give something back to them. With the support of Sally, his wife of 47 years, three daughters and eight grandchildren, Hank Majeski has indeed done whatever it takes to give back to his fellow PGA professionals. Unforgettable, Unforgettable. in every way. In every I think he's deserving because of the person he is, not just the fact that he's a professional golf person, but the concern, the dedication he has to the sport and to the development of the sport and from my perspective of the youth. He 
course, is an honest man. So I think that's one of the top qualities you'd want in any of your friends. He's very congenial and fun to be around. I really think this will be his most proudful moment in golf. I mean, Hank is a purist in golf. Uh, anyone around him knows that. He loves golf, he loves to teach it, and he loves to play. Uh, but I think his, one of his most proudful accomplishments, and he's had a lot, will be this from his section, from the people that, that he worked with, and, uh, and he helped you know, create part of what's here now. Mm -hmm.